welcome to my channel audio video me uh, recently somebody asked me if I could do a video on graphics EQ and explain where exactly it sits uh, in the signal chain in a PA system environment um, okay I'm gonna for this demonstration I'm gonna explain uh, where exactly graphics EQ sits uh, and how to connect it uh, if you've got an analog mixer and external graphics EQ because at the moment I've got a, a digital desk uh, LS9 uh, with a built-in graphics EQ uh, but I'm gonna explain uh, where in, in both scenarios like if you're using an analog mixer or a digital mixer where exactly it sits in the signal chain and why do we use it and uh, and uh, um, uh, also I'm gonna show you like uh, how to cut the unwanted frequencies uh, in the live environment using the graphics EQ or uh, uh, in, in technical words ring out the monitors or microphones uh, okay uh, let's start um, uh, if you're using the external graphics EQ and you got a uh, analog mixer and let's say uh, you got one vocalist and uh, you have provided uh, uh, two wedges on the stage for that vocalist uh, as reference uh, uh, then what you do is just take a aux uh, uh, one and two out and that goes into the graphics uh, EQ inputs and uh, then from grass graphics EQ uh, output goes into the amplifier and then amplifier connects to those uh, wedges uh, uh, in the digital uh, environment uh, the graphics EQ is built in and uh, you can connect the graphics EQ to the inputs or outputs um, but for this demonstration I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna uh, uh, connect the graphics EQ the built-in graphics EQ of the digital mixer uh, to the output uh, so let's say I've given this microphone uh, to the vocalist uh, and uh, let's say uh, uh, this monitor the right side one and the left side one uh, they are on the stage uh, as wedges for the vocalist reference now I just want to make sure that when the vocalist goes uh, near the wedges or move around then there is no feedback uh, because uh, if the microphone is gonna go closer to the wedges then it's gonna feedback uh, and obviously I just want to make sure that the microphone is loud enough uh, so the front of house uh, uh, engineer gets a good level and uh, obviously uh, uh, the vocalist uh, gets a good level out of the uh, monitors uh, okay so how would I achieve that uh, what I would do is then uh, I would just uh, for for this mixer uh, it's called a rack I'll just go to the rack and uh, I have selected rack 4 which has got a, a built-in graphics EQ and I've assigned it to the left side of the monitor and uh, rack 3 I have assigned it to the right side of the monitor and uh, then I have linked uh, those two racks so whatever changes I make to one graphics EQ it's applied uh, to the other uh, at the same time uh, now uh, if you can see that uh, um, uh, Yamaha has provided this uh, application called stage mix and uh, one of the built-in tool is called RTA real-time analyzer uh, what that tool is representing is when I'm speaking into the microphone it's telling me exactly uh, in the spectrum between 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz uh, about uh, the frequencies going up to 0 dB a level or above uh, it's giving me the representation uh, of the output uh, level uh, inside that spectrum um, so um, I'm just going to turn on the microphone and uh, I'm going to speak into it and just gonna raise the level till I get feedback check one two test 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 okay I'm already getting a feedback uh, and uh, uh, hopefully you guys can hear it as well uh, uh, check 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 there is ringing bell uh, once I finish my sentence then there is a ringing bell like tick. test test check 
one two 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 check check and you probably heard that uh, uh, in the higher spectrum of the frequencies there was like this really sharp uh, uh, noise uh, so I'm gonna eliminate that uh, using this tool right here called graphics EQ uh, and I'm gonna just give the examples of uh, both uh, uh, if you're using uh, an analog uh, mixer and uh, you haven't got this uh, RTA uh, reference in front of you then how to do it so uh, let's say this is a analog uh, uh, graphics EQ and uh, you're just trying to eliminate the frequencies the way you do it is on the analog graphics eq if you got it as an external device you raise the frequency if it doesn't feedback that's not the trouble frequency raise it so you repeat this for all 31 bands on the graphics eq so I can tell right away that this is somewhere in the region of between 2k to 5k and uh, so I'm just gonna try to increase like let's say 2.5k okay yeah so it fell back so I'm just gonna decrease this by the same amount I increased it and it fed back I'm gonna bring it down above the same amount so just gonna do the same with 3.1 so just gonna bring this down okay what about 4k let's see test 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 okay yeah that fed back 5 okay okay yeah, yeah. this is troubled as well check check 1 2 test 1 2 one two test one two check check okay yeah one two one two check one two one two one two okay this is trouble one two check one two one two one two check okay yeah that's trouble as well check one two check one two 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 check 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 okay so that's the way how you do it on a, a analog graphics eq I'm just gonna bring the level down now and uh, just gonna switch off the microphone so this is how you do it on uh, uh, analog uh, graphics EQ and uh, to eliminate the unwanted uh, frequencies and uh, uh, on, a, on a, a digital mixer like this obviously I'm gonna turn on the microphone now and uh, just gonna make it flat again so it feeds back okay it's flat i'm just gonna raise it above zero db and try to go near this monitor as you can see as i'm going it's showing me which frequency is going above so when i went near the speaker about 160 hertz was showing me as Trouble frequency, so I'm just gonna bring down 160 hertz. So again, I'm just gonna go near the speaker, okay, and raise the volume here. Okay, test, 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 test. Okay, that was 10k. So let me bring 10k down. Okay, let me bring 10 to down. Right, about here. Check, 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 check. I'm going again, check, test one, two, near the speakers. As you can see that I have eliminated the unwanted frequencies and I've got a bit of headroom uh, if, you know, I want to increase the output volume. Uh, okay, uh, guys, uh, hope I've explained in the... Uh, simplest uh, uh, manner and uh, if you guys have got any question please do not hesitate to ask me and uh, as uh, this is the festive and uh, holiday season I would like to uh, wish you all very uh, happy Christmas and happy new year and uh, 
uh, keep watching keep tuned and i'll keep making good videos